Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. Um, today we have a little bit of something different going on. Yes, we are still in quarantine. Our options are limited in what we're doing with our weekends. And something I want to touch on that's probably something a lot of people are dealing with right now is how are you maintaining your eating habits while your routine has been completely up uprooted. Um, so I know for me, I am no stranger to this. At the beginning of quarantine, I feel like it was okay, it was going fine, and then I kind of just fell off the deep end, and I had potato chips, like any number of snacks you could think of in my cupboard, and my, what's funny is actually my best friend is training for a bikini competition here. If you're watching this, you know I'm talking about you, and she sent me her progress pictures the other day, and I was like, oh crap, I need to get my crap together, and I immediately threw out my p potato chips right then and there, um, and I'm a real sucker for potato chips and snacks like that I just like the crunch I like to be munching and that is like my biggest downfall because it's not even that I'm hungry I'm just bored and I just want something to munch on um so we did without that and I kind of realized that for me personally I need to have prepared snacks and healthier options including breakfast lunch and dinner just so it makes it easier on me and it takes out that like guessing and like what do I want to eat for lunch or dinner um and if I don't have to think about it it's a lot easier to make the better decision um so today i'm going to show you a few things that i have been doing to make life a little easier when i'm working at home and i don't have a lot of options and i can't just run out and grab something to eat the first thing i'm going to do is make my crustless quiche and this has been really good for me for breakfast um, at the beginning of quarantine i was really big on oatmeal um, and while that's good i can definitely feel that it was kind of just i just felt like it was too much it was an excess of oatmeal if you understand what I'm saying um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I've already preheated my oven to 350 you're going to need a large baking dish this is just I don't even know what size this is but this is what I'm using to bake my crustless quiche in and then I have a large mixing bowl somebody is snapchatting me oops and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna first gonna do is crack six eggs into the large mixing bowl and then I'm going to put turkey bacon um, spinach, half an onion, ha uh, a cup of um, this gluten-free, dairy-free Daya, I think that's how you say it, cheese. And it's basically like, I'm not gluten intolerant, I mean not gluten intolerant, not lactose intolerant, or any sort of intolerant, but I feel like when I make, when I can have the choice to not have lactose, I feel better about what I'm eating, and it sits better in my stomach. So, um, digestion-wise, I always try to go for this. Um, and then I'll probably put some oat milk in it just to kind of make it fluffy and bake better, essentially. So I will show you guys as I go and then catch up with you when it's out of the oven. Okay? Peace.
Okay, so as you can see, I just stuck the quiche in the oven. And now I'm gonna set a timer for about 45 minutes. Five minutes there we go um, and then that should be good to go for now I'm going to do some dishes a little bit because I'm sure you guys saw how messy my sink gets when I'm cooking um, and then I'll come back and we're gonna do the next thing okay see you in a bit okay hi guys um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is while that's baking um, one thing that I found about the ease of prepared snacks is that you so half the time it's been a long day you don't want to think about what you're eating you don't want to think about preparing it um, so I prepare everything when I get it like I just did grocery shopping yesterday and I bought this thing of celery so I'm gonna chop it up um, in like two inch pieces I guess and what I like to do is have peanut butter and like 50% sugar free craisins 50% sugar free 50% less sugar craisins and I know that that's probably like something that you do for your kids or I mean I ate it as a kid so I, I like that snack a lot and it's like less guilty um, but I try to use a more natural peanut butter so you're not just like shoving sugar all over your celery um, not everybody is a fan of it I personally am so this is just something that I eat and then also I like to cut up some strawberries and um, just have them ready to go so that I can just take a fork and eat them I find that if I put them in a airtight container, they last a little longer as opposed to just leaving them in this thing. And also, it's the ease of preparedness. I mean, you could, strawberries are nice as you could just like eat them like this and just take a bite out of them. But I think for portion control, it's easier for me if I cut them up and have smaller pieces. Um, and then I'm just a little bit more aware of what I'm eating essentially. So that's the next thing we're doing. I'm gonna show you guys. strawberries you guys saw I just put the celery all in a container and I know there's a few pieces that I didn't use only because for the purpose of how I eat them it just wouldn't turn out well um, so I'll probably you know save those later and blend it into a smoothie or something I know a lot of people like to do it um, celery juice in the morning I don't have a juicer but I know you can use your blender and just strain it that is something I will try next time who knows maybe I'll like it anyway next thing is strawberries
three ready to go and i ended up getting two things of strawberries out of that so i'll just pop these in the fridge and they'll last me a week couple weeks um and i just have something ready and easy to go when i want to eat um so the next thing i'm going to do is a little bit of an experiment because i've never done it before but I'm gonna make banana ice cream, AKA banana ice cream. Um, it's supposed to have the consistency of like soft serve. Um, and I know that that's another snack, not snack, dessert food that I really like. And I miss ice cream. And even when you get like the keto friendly or the Halo Top low cal ice cream, I'll sit there and eat the whole thing. And it's just, it makes you feel like crap after. Um, nothing against them. And when you want to have a treat once in a while, like give yourself a treat. But when you have the option to have a healthier version, why not just have it ready to go? Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my blender here and I actually chopped up three bananas last night and I froze them. So I'm going to put them in here now. Okay. So I have frozen bananas. I'm going to just throw those in here. some coconut milk because we are experimenting I'm gonna put some Vega protein powder in it um, I don't really have much left anyway so this might give some chocolatey flavor as well as some PB2 I'm just gonna eyeball this okay. so maybe it'll have like a chocolate peanut butter banana type flavor best consistency you've ever seen but this is going to be ice cream quote unquote um but anyway okay so the next thing i'm gonna do I'm trying to talk here and it's not it's not wanting to stay okay so the next thing i'm going to do is find a container to put this in and then i have some milk chocolate morsels it's just like a tiny little bag that i had left over from banana bread uh, making and i'm gonna put this in my ice cream and just mix it up so that there's a little bit of a crunch okay let me know if anybody else does this but i like barely i rarely ever throw out the okay i'm like cutting my head off of this but i rarely ever throw out the takeaway containers for soup if i order chinese food or something like that because they're really handy for times like this by the way i've already tasted it it smells it tastes amazing so i'm just gonna put this in here Have it your very own the chocolate um banana chocolate protein ice cream so i'm gonna put this in the fridge freezer and hopefully later it'll set and be ready to eat 
it already tastes really good so i have high hopes for this okay so my timer just went off for my quiche so i'm gonna take that out of the oven now and i'll show you guys what it looks like after it's been baked okay so this is the final product it looks amazing i have a feeling like i'm getting deja vu i feel like i've showed this in a vlog before but this is what the final product looks like um you can see the cheese is kind of melted and the uh, bacon is actually a little bit crispy which is really nice um so this typically will last me four to five days um and I just have a little bit every morning and I'll just put foil on top of this and put this in the fridge and it'll last me a little while. So that's a super easy breakfast that I love to make. Um, I'm like hot in my apartment because my oven's still on. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is really exciting because I haven't done it before. Um, but recently my coworker, thank you Christine, got me an Instant Pot. And I have been raving about this thing since she got it for me. If you don't have one, you need one. This thing is incredible it makes cooking stuff so easy the cleanup is really simple i mean it's one pot so all you have to do is clean up one pot and um it's really fast like i make salmon in about four minutes and it's perfectly steamed today i'm gonna do chicken because that's what i have thought in my fridge and i guess it's 10 minutes on high pressure and then you're good to go um but i'm going to show you guys the process of how i use my instant pot and i know you guys if you've been here before know that i like to make a lot at once the only thing about being in quarantine is that i don't have to do that because i'm home a lot more and i have a lot more time to meal prep so in that sense i like to make a little less so that it stays fresher longer um but today i'm going to do chicken in the instant pot for my protein prep for the week Okay, so I'm sorry if you don't like looking at raw chicken, um, but this is what we have going on. I just have the Instant Pot plugged in. It's not on yet, but it comes with this little like tray thing, and when you cook protein like this, you don't want it stuck to the bottom. It does have a saute function, so you can cut your, piece, your chicken up into like bite-sized pieces, and I like to do that if I'm making a big curry dish or something like chili in here. Um, but for this purpose, I just like to have the breasts uh cut up into like portion sizes I didn't measure anything I just estimated um, I cut one breast in half and then in half again and you kind of want it as an even layer on the bottom of the pan and then before I put anything in I put a cup of water just um, tap water in the bottom and I've seasoned my chicken so now I'm going to secure the lid and you can see it plays a little jingle as they call it when you turn it on and then I'm gonna go down here and pressure cook for 10 minutes on high and then you kind of just let it go and then it will say on when it gets when it's working on the pressure and then when it's ready to start cooking the timer will go and then see there it goes it says on so now it's working on getting to pressure and then it'll say the time when it's actually cooking and then you have the keep warm function so when it's done it's not like it just stops um, but for this purpose I'm gonna do 10 minutes and then release quick quick release so I'll show you guys that later um, but that lets the steam go really quickly so that you're not overcooking anything and honestly with chicken I don't want it to dry out so I'm okay if it's a little underdone because I'm going to eat it later and recook it essentially in the microwave but yeah so I have another piece of chicken I'm going to prepare and then when the current one going is done I will switch them out and I'll show you guys what it looks like okay see you in a little bit bye okay I've just realized that the lighting in my kitchen has drastically changed because it's now after 5 p.m. but anyway my chicken is done it has been natural releasing for about 10 minutes now um actually it's only been nine but you know whatever um and i'm going to release it now and show you guys the final results so you can't open the top until you've released the pressure essentially as you can see, that's kind of what it looks like now. Perfectly done. So I'm excited. I'm going to do the next batch now. Okay. Okay, so I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but I seasoned the chicken with salt, pepper, 
paprika or red pepper either one whichever you prefer today it was red uh, paprika and then mustache the onion and garlic one I personally like a lot of seasoning on my chicken I think that chicken takes on the flavor of whatever you put it on I have a friend that actually absolutely hates chicken she's more of a red meat type of person I just find that it's obviously cheaper and a lot easier to prepare um, and I like to have a lot of it on hand for any given day so today I'll probably have a piece of chicken and a steamable bag of like broccoli or something like that which is a very easy meal that I typically lean towards when I don't want to think about it too much um, and I know you guys have seen before that I've just thrown broccoli on a pan and baked it you can do that too um, but lately I've been buying like the individual bags of broccoli and then just throwing them in the microwave um, another tip I have for you guys is if sorry my other batch of chicken is going I like to buy all my meat and protein in bulk from Costco online. They have they use Instacart now, so you can order and have it delivered if you live in the city like me. You don't have a car, you don't have a Costco near you, or obviously it's very difficult to go to a Costco and lug all that bulk item back. So that's been a really big thing for me in quarantine. I have salmon that's really nice because I can throw it in my freezer and it's individually wrapped so you don't have to cook a lot at once and you don't have to prepare a lot at once. You just thaw a couple and you're ready to go um and then the instant pot has been key for that because you obviously don't have to bake a lot in the oven you can just throw it in the instant pot and it's literally done in four minutes like i kid you not the coolest thing i've ever seen um i also have hamburger patties so that's really nice if i want to just chop those up throw them on a pan and then put them in like a caesar salad or something like that um and then obviously i buy chicken in bulk as well so it's my little key for you guys uh i want to thank you for sticking around this long for watching me slave in the kitchen essentially i'm like literally sweating because that was a lot of work um but it's worth it to me if it means that during the week i don't have to think that much about what i'm eating um and that everything tastes good so thanks so much for watching uh give me a like subscribe let me know what you want to see in the comments below and i will see you guys next time for our regular schedule regularly scheduled programming Bye.